Okay, Bolo Buddies, so I decided I'm gonna show you just some of my inventory that still needs to be listed. I cannot believe I'm doing this, but I also am going to show you an awesome Goodwill Benz haul that was picked up from my friend who is not a reseller, and I have already sold three things, three things that sold super fast. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and just show you some of my inventory. All right, are you ready? <laughs> All of these totes are full of inventory that needs listed. So I did organize it. It was a complete disaster. If I can find a screenshot, I'll pop it up. It's really embarrassing. But now I know that plush is in this one. This one's all plush. This is all loving family. These two right here. That is Fisher Price Little People. So um, yeah, I may end up doing some of this stuff on whatnot. I don't know. I just keep sourcing. Uh, these are all yearbooks, which I just have no desire to mess with. I know some of them can be bolos, but I don't know. This here is jewelry, 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 jam-packed. I can't remember if that one's jewelry also, but I just have a tremendous amount of inventory, and this does not even include my garage. Let me take you out here. So here's another pile that I have that I'm thinking about bringing to whatnot. I've got some jewelry down here that I thought I could do like an unbagging. These are all toddler dresses. I have no idea what's in here. More dresses, just a mix of items, toys. I'm just trying to figure out this whatnot. I also went to the bins today and guess what I bought? More inventory and I'm rocking my Cha-Ching King uh, shirt. So definitely go subscribe to Scott, the Cha-Ching King. He is awesome. Amazing reseller channel. Channer. Man, I can't talk today. Amazing reseller channel. And he has um, everything from beginners up to big money bolos. He is a major bolo finder. So you definitely want to sub him up. And he has fantastic merch. All right, you guys, let's get into this Ben's haul that my friend found for me. Um, I shouldn't say found, sourced for me. It's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, and one more thing. Down in the description, you can follow me on Whatnot. So I'm trying to build up my following. I'm going to sell on there eventually. Go down there, follow me. If you're new to Whatnot, um, that is my referral link also. And you can get a $10 coupon to shop when you use that link. All right, you guys, let's get started. All right, you guys, we had a blast at the bins. Okay, so I had my non-reseller friend source for me today at the Goodwill bins. Here she is walking out with her cart load. <laughs> Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Time reseller. $600 for a My Little Pony. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. <laughs> so let's see what she got me. The Goodwill Bins, and she is not a reseller. Um, but she likes a good treasure hunt. Her cart was loaded. Check out this picture right here. And I'm going to show you what she picked out for me to resell. Now, I did see a few things that I threw back right away because they were like bigger, heavier items. And I was uh, just not interested. But we um, did not go through the bag. She just put everything in the bag. I was loading my bag. So really, honestly... I'm not really sure what's in there. So we're going through this together. And she's like, well, do you want to look at this stuff? And I'm like, no, it'll be a surprise. So I'm kind of curious as to uh, <laughs> what I've gotten myself into here. So um, she did show me this. And I think she said this was a watch box. Um, I don't know this brand, but I said to throw it in there because my husband likes watches. So I'll give that to my husband. He might be able to use it for something. Um, she got this because it is sealed. Um, it's kind of heavy. I probably would not have picked it up, but, um, it is sealed and it's about golfing. So I'll, I'll have to see. I mean, I'm sure I can make some money on it. And th what's interesting about this also is it kind of focuses or not focuses it kind of teaches me to maybe look outside the box a little bit she did I did see her pick this up and she's like what do you think and I was like well I would typically just get the bird but um the cage isn't that heavy and with Christmas coming 
it might do better as a set. So I'll have to spot clean it um, and put a battery in it and see if that works. If it doesn't work, I, I can still sell the cage. So it's a little live pack. I would have picked up the bird for sure. Um, oh, a little bag of toys. Talking my language. I love toys. Um, so we've got, just dump this out here. I'm in my driveway. Some of these are McDonald's. I won't mess with the McDonald's, but um, I don't know what that is. That looks like kind of like a magnet. So we've got some smalls here. So I may sell those as a lot or sell them individually. Um, just kind of depends. We'll see. I think some of the things fell out of the bag. All right. We've got this girl right here. And I saw her pick this up also. And she's like, this kind of looks like an American girl. And I said, I think it is. I think it's one of the smaller American girls. Uh, are they Welly Wishers or something like that? But it is American girl. So I was like, if you don't want that, throw it in my car. I'll take that for sure. So she's super cute and her hair's nice and she's got on, she's missing her pants, but this gal right here, um, she is an American girl, Jelly Wishers that I just talked about that I unboxed or unbagged in this video and she had clothes on, but I decided to sell her separately. I am going to list her shoes separately. And then she had a little panty and shirt. She was missing her skirt. So I felt this was the best way to maximize my profits on this. So this outfit or panty and shirt, no skirt, missing skirt, will be considered replacements for this doll. And I think her hair, I don't know, it kind of looks, I don't know, a little wonky. So um, anyway, whatever. Okay, now she did pull out this book. Today is Monday, pictures by Eric Carlisle but she said it's signed, but I don't know if that's actually signed or if it's um, just on every publication like that. So I'll have to get a loop and really zoom in on that and see. And I can also probably look at another book and see if it's just something that's already on there. So if it is signed, that could be pretty good, but um, popular children's artist, it does have a name up in the corner but I just can't tell if that's um, actually signed or just already uh, printed on there, if you know what I mean. All right, she snagged this out of the plush. I was going through all the plush. Wait until you guys see my plush haul from this day. Oh my goodness, I'll probably do it as a separate video because I found so much plush, but she's like, I did see her open this and I'm like, what is that? That is so cute. And it has little uh, bunnies in it. This one bunny, uh, the stuffing is coming out. I don't know what's going on with it, honestly, but, um, super cute. So I'll have to look that up. I don't see any brand, so I don't know if somebody just made it. It kind of looks handmade, doesn't it? Now that I'm looking at these bunnies. So we will put that to the side. Oh, what is this? This is a snake. It says Zuru. Um, oh, that's weird press and his head comes off I wonder if this is like is it battery operated huh may uh let's see huh made in China definitely gonna have to look that guy up I think let's talk about this <laughs> all right you remember this snake yeah you just saw it in the video well 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 I don't know what's wrong with it, but it's not working. So I want to maximize my profits. So I am going to list the tail as a replacement. You think I can sell it? I mean, the tail's fine. It just needs attached to a head that works. So I guess if somebody broke the tail, they would need the tail. So we're gonna see if we can make a little money on the tail. I think it might be, uh, it might do something. Okay, definitely would not have picked this guy up, but that's okay. Uh, it looks like, I don't know. We'll have to see what he does. 
He turns on and off. With Christmas coming, I mean, maybe. I have to put a battery in it. Spider-Man. Okay. I also saw her pick this up. And I saw think she put it back down. And I'm like, I think that's a bitty baby. So she picked it back up. It's American Girl. It does have some yuck on it. It needs cleaned up. But uh, 2018. So not super old. But I think I can uh, try to clean up the head a little bit and worth the, the thing and she picked this up I saw her pick this up so I actually did see her pick some of this stuff up when we were shopping together and she threw she was gonna throw it back and I'm like no 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 um I like horses um I always pick them up I could not see what it was I'm like just throw it with my stuff that you're getting for me it looks like it says 2017 d wall something but even if the horse is no good I can sell the saddles because people buy these this horse, her mane, it needed like brushed out or you know how you do all that special stuff to it. Well, I'm not that fancy. So I put a braid in it and I'm going to sell it with the braid. But what I did do that I wanted to share with you is I took the saddle off and I'm selling the saddle separate. All right. So I don't know what I did here, but I lost my original audio. So um, I'm going to do a voiceover for the rest of this here. Uh, there is this Viewmaster, and I was pleasantly surprised at the comparables on these. Um, probably something I may not have picked up, and I'm glad I did. So uh, definitely a cool item there. All right. Now, one of the items that sold, I have sold these in the past, but I probably would not have picked them up because they are typically long tail. And this sold super fast for $16 and I think it was 25 cents. Plus the buyer paid shipping. And it was priority mail. So nice little uh, bolo there actually. They're the vintage uh, McDonald's Barbies. Uh, this is an American Girl hair thing. Super lightweight so it cost me pennies. And someone should buy it. Christmas is coming. Um, I do feel like people are going to be buying pre-owned for Christmas more and more um, in the future. All right, this right here is really, really cool. These are Hatchimals, but there were also some little pet shop, and they were the littlest pet shop right here, and they connect to a ring. So I went ahead and listed those, and then I also listed the Hatchimals separately. So two nice lots right down in that bag right there. So she did a fantastic job. Already sold three things. Okay, Bola Buddies, here's a little bit of footage from actually when we were at the bins. I have three other videos coming in the near future with items that I picked up this day. I spent $140. Um, $120 was my stuff and $20 was stuff that she purchased for me, which you saw in this video. So $140 total. So stay tuned for those videos. Okay, Bola Buddies, what'd you think? How did she do? I think she did fantastic. Super excited about the things that she picked up for me to uh, list on eBay. So what she did is she sourced the items and then I paid for them and I came home and I listed them and now I get to make some money. I didn't have to do the work, she did the work for me. So I thought it would be a fun little video to see what a non-reseller picked up for me to sell. So I think we're gonna do this again in the future because we had a really great time. But I will tell you that the footage at the end of the video will be included in three, this is a three part. I have three other videos coming soon. They pulled out a big bin of plush. So I'm gonna do that separate. And then I spent $120 in addition to the $20 I spent on the stuff that she picked out. So 140 total today. Oh my goodness. So please turn on notifications, hit that bell, subscribe to the channel and come back and check out um, part two, three, and four. I guess we'll call this part one. Thank you all so much for being here and watching. Leave me an emoji of anything down in the comments. Leave me your favorite emoji. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.